welcome now another uh, operation basic operation that is performed on these signals uh, is a subtraction operation subtraction operation so this is another signal processing basic signal of processing operation that is performed on the dependent variable that represent our signal so this sim subtraction simply means if we have x1 of n is our one sequence or signal and x2 of n is another sequence we subtract the values of x1 of n x2 of n and suppose we obtain a resultant sequence that is y of n so to illustrate this let me take the example let's suppose x1 of n in sequence for m is 1 2 minus 1 0 and 2 let's suppose this is my n equal to 0 point similarly x2 of n is 2 1 let me see the different value 2 3 minus 1 this I can take as minus 2 and let's suppose this is minus 1 and this is 1 and let's suppose n equal to 0 point is this so what this operation says simply it subtract the corresponding sample point of x1 and x2 you will get the resonance in a y of n now let's again do this graphically let's perform this operation again using the graphical representation of x1 of n x2 of n now x1 of n at n equal to 0 is 2 x1 of n at n equal to 1 is minus 1 minus 1 this is 2 this is at n equal to 1 at n equal to 2 the value of the sequence is 0 now at n equal to Three, the value of the sequence is two. So this is at n equal to three and the rest of the sam samples are zero and so on. Now, now values for n negative values of time, the value of x values of x of n, x one of n of when n is negative of at n equal to minus one, the value of the signal is one, and the rest of the sample points are zero similarly x2 of n x2 of n okay, let me redraw this x2 of n so value of x2 of n at n equal to zero is three at n equal to one is minus two minus 2 this is at n equal to 1 at n equal to 2 the value of this sequence is minus 1 and value at n equal to 3 is 1 and the rest of the sum is at 0 0 similarly value of the sequence from n is equal to minus 1 is 2 and the rest of the sum is at 0 now to obtain y of n which is defined as y of n x1 of n minus x2 of n which is defined as the subtraction of the sequences so y of n put n equal so y of n when n equal to 0 is simply y of 0 so what we are <coughs> doing we are trying to obtain the values of y of n for different values of and when n is equal to 0, so put n equal to 0 in this expression. So this is x of 0 minus x2 of 0. So this is simply x1 of 0 at n equal to 0 is 0. x2 of 0 at n equal to 0 is 3. And it. Okay, this is right. right. So this is right. So this is 2 minus 3 is minus 1. The value of y of n at n equal to 0 is minus 1. Similarly, value of y of n at n equal to 1 is y of 1 is x1 of 1 minus x2 of 1. x1 of 1 is 
minus one and x squared one is minus two. So this is minus one plus two is equal to one. So value of y of n at n equal to one is one. Similarly, value of y of n at n equal to two is y of two. It will give us y of two. So this is x one of two minus x two of two. X one of two is zero and x two of two x2 of 2 is minus 1, so this is 1. So value of y of n at n equal to 2 is 1. Now y of n at n equal to 3 is, which is same as y of 3. So this is x1 of 3 minus x2 of 3. So this is the value of this will be 2 minus the value of this is 1. This one, yes. This one. So this is one. This is simply one. Now rest of the samples are zero because value of x two of four is zero. X one of four is zero. X two of four is zero. So the rest of the values of one of n for first values of prime for first values of n are zero. So y of four is equal to y of five. For so on are zero. Now, similarly, values of y of n when n is negative. Well, let's start with n equal to minus 1. So this would be x of minus 1 minus x of minus x2 of minus 1. Now, x1 of minus 1 is 1. x2 of minus 1 is 2. So this is 1 minus 2. That's simply equal to minus 1. And the rest of the samples will be 0. You can check with x1 of 2 is 0. x2 2 of minus 2 is 0 and so on. So y of minus 2, y of minus 3, and so on are equal to 0. So we can write y of n in sequence form as something like this. This is minus 1, and then minus 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1. And one sphere, and one, two, and three. So the value of n equal to zero. So okay, right. So this is correct. So now we can plot this sequence. So we can write y of n as <clears throat> so this is value of at n equal to zero point is minus one. Value at n equal to one is one. Value at n equal to 2 is 1, value at n equal to 3 is 1. So this is a 1, 2, and 3. Rest of the samples are 0. Rest of the samples are 0. Similarly, on for negative values of n, minus 1, rest of the samples are so 0. So this is our subtraction operation. This is how we do this, sub, how we perform this subtraction operation on signals. No? No signals. Right, <clears throat> all right. So now, <clears throat> what are the applications of this subtraction operation in signal processing? Now, remember, on digital signals, <clears throat> digital signal processing are simply digital domain. Subtraction operation is performed the same way like we do the addition operation. So we don't use actually a different circuitry for subtraction operation is the same circuitry that we use to perform the addition operation in digital domain. Now the application of this, applications of this um, subtraction operation are in filter domain, are to design a uh, differentiator in digital signal processing or discrete time signal processing. See, once we study the, uh, this Z transform of discrete time signals, we shall see that this is indeed this is indeed a high pass filter. This is either a high pass filter or you can say sometimes it's also part of what has differentiated. So the subtraction operation is a very prominent operation in signal processing. So you can use it to design either a high pass filter or a differentiator in discrete time signal processing. All right. Yes.